Hey guys, it's Debbie with Driftwood and Shine coming on and um, we're going to make, I'm going to come on ever so often and what I do is going to be like a gift idea because you know Christmas is coming up so throughout the month of November I'm going to throw in several gift ideas, not just decorating. We'll still do a lot of decorating but we're going to do gift ideas too, okay? I'm going to turn you down because it's going to be pretty quick. This live's going to be pretty quick. It's a simple, simple live, but it, it would be, it's something that would be um, a nice gift. So, yeah, let's just get in there. Okay. Turn you down so you can see. All right, we've got these, this cutting board, or I'm not really sure. It's called a cutting board. I don't know that you'd ever cut on something this little, but it's from Dollar Tree, so it costs $1. get the plastic off of it this would be a really really nice uh, gift because they're so pretty they're really so pretty and I'm gonna give you I'm just gonna do one but I'm gonna give you some ideas as I'm doing it this is the back side your front side is um it's like textured it's pretty cool so anything that shows through it is you can let her down it's you know kind of cool so I'm going to just do from the back, and you can do this. Guys, this is really cool done with candles. If you do it with a um, candle, I didn't mean a candle, a napkin. And if you do it with a napkin, um, you just turn it upside down. Anything you're going to do on here, you're going to turn upside down. But if you're going to do it with a napkin and it's going to cover the whole part, take these little, it's the little um, eh, rubber things to kind of keep it from bouncing on your, bouncing on your um, countertop, take those off first and clean your area with alcohol. Clean, matter of fact, if you're doing a napkin, clean the whole area with alcohol, wouldn't hurt. I'm just using the other side of the mercantile gift bag. bag. This was on the other side of it, and this is gonna be another thing for Sonny's house, so that's why I'm making it tonight for Sonny. What is it? Lost your phone? Oh, Sonny's lost her phone. But um, anyhow, so we're gonna get started. All I did was cut it out of the bag. So look, you can get any gift bag that has a really cool sign. If somebody really likes, um, I don't know, I, Victoria's Secret comes to mind, but I don't know that, I don't even know what their gift bag looks like. I don't know if it has any, but any gift bag, you know, that somebody really likes it from a store that they really like, I mean, take that gift bag and make them something personal. They can even sit, guys, this can even, I know it's a cutting board, but it can be used to sit on the um, makeup table to where they put their um, perfumes or stuff. It would be really pretty for that. And more especially if it's got something that's personalized to them on the back side. Okay, so all we're gonna do is take our Mod Podge, and again, just like last night, I'm putting it on the, and I'm putting it on the wrong side. <laughs> I told y'all, put it down, face down, and here I go doing it up side but anyhow put your Mod Podge on here and you know Mod Podge dries clear so it's okay that it's um white on here now but you want to make sure that you cover it good guys don't don't leave any little spots that are not covered because once it dries you'll be able to tell those spots so make sure you have it covered completely and I'm gonna have plenty of glue on my hands now from the back side getting it covered completely make sure I don't have any, because this one is textured, squeak toy, hush. This one is textured, so I want to make sure that I get all the edges covered. And I'm going to lay mine straight right here in the middle, just eyeballing it. When you get it down, I know I put glue on the back side of mine, but go ahead and use your hand and make sure you spread it out. I'll lay my brush down a minute so I can get it. I wish I hadn't put <laughs> glue on the back side, but y'all don't put glue on the back side of yours. Put glue on the front side. Or if you're doing a napkin, you put the glue on the actual cutting board. I was not intending on putting Mod Podge all over the cutting board, but now that I've got this done I may have to I don't know we're gonna see if I can get these bubbles out 
having that Mod Podge on the back of it, it's making it a little bit sticky when I try to smooth it out, but that looks like it's smoothed out good. Yeah. You can always turn it, like when you got something dark like this, you can turn it over and just see if there's an area that looks like it did, maybe didn't get as much Mod Podge or whatever. Okay, and now I'm going to Mod Podge the back, but I'm not going to go very far over the thing because I don't want Mod Podge all over my glass. Of course, when we're getting it all over the back of it, it kind of... I may wind up having to put it all over the back. I think we will just be because it's already done. So I'm gonna put it all over the back, guys. It won. The Mod Podge won. Hey, what is wrong with them? Oh, the mom's gonna get them. Okay, I'm gonna put it all over the back. You can put it. Up. You don't have to put it all over the back, but since I kind of messed up the back side of my thing I'm gonna put it all over the back because when it dries it'll be fine anyway because the front's textured so you'll never know about the bottom side squeaky acts like she hadn't ate and she has ate guys she ate a lot oh playing with the cat I'll be sure and share this picture tomorrow so that y'all can see what it looks like when it dries because it'll take a little while for it to dry. So I'll share it tomorrow so you can see it. I'm trying to get my... Use my phone and call it, Sonny. It's something about it. Oh. Uh, oh, well. Smoothing it out. And guys, I just want to go ahead and mention to you, Friday night we're having our live sale at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's when it'll start. And then the next Friday night we're having, um, we're part of a craft, craft-a-thon, and it'll be for Christmas. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now, but it'll dry, and then I'll show you again. See, it's already starting to dry. Okay, I'm going to lay that to the side. That's all we got to do to it tonight. I'll have to share it with you tomorrow. Ooh, crooked. <laughs> How is everybody tonight? Y'all make sure, please, sprinkle the video, sprinkle the video, and follow us. If you haven't followed us, uh, please follow us. And then when you follow us, go to Crafters with Driftwood and Shine, and then answer all the questions. And then we'll prove you to be in that group. It's a private group just for the tribe of Driftwood and Shine. They share their life. They share their prayer requests. They share their successes. They share um, when they're having surgery. All kind of stuff on there. They share their crafts, too, with each other and encourage each other. It's, it's an awesome group. It's an awesome bunch of people. Thank y'all so much for the stars. Y'all are just wonderful. But um, that's it for tonight, guys. That was a quick craft, but... um. It's going to be beautiful. Sunny's house is going to be pretty. I'm going to miss her here. But, oh well. That's the way things go. But, um, y'all keep us in prayer, remember. And, um, remember the prayer list. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, join us Friday night for our sale. 6 o'clock. Tomorrow afternoon late, or either Friday morning, we're going to post a post that's going to have pictures of most of everything that's going to be on sale. So, you can go ahead and see what all it is. And then um, next Friday on the 6th is when we'll be in the Christmas Craft-a-thon. And we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and just tell y'all a little secret. We're going to do a Christmas Bustier Girl. She's going to be a Christmas tree. So that's going to be cool. Y'all join us. And that's it. Love you. And y'all have a good night. And I'll see you in the morning, 930 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for devotion. Right, bye, guys.